just gotta reintroduce here. We got Thren joining us with us right now. Hi guys. I am currently uh what is it, Lemillion. <laughs> and then we also have Brian with us. Hello. Here. Yeah, so I'm in a different location for uh, today. I am not in my normal home. So this is this is as good as it's going to get. It's it's fine. So we, we got these two together. Um we're gonna now head on over to My Hero Academia. So um this is I would say a big episode. I assume this is like the end of the like Jisaki Airy arc. And yes. a lot of things happen here. So the big thing mainly being like um Night Eye basically dying. Um Good. they also pretty much do they're we, saying Do we know if he's dead? Wait, bro. Okay, hold on. Oh, <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I just want to say this, man. You can't skip over his death, man. I legitimately was on I was actually crying, dude. Really? On his was, death? Yeah. Okay, no, no, no. The reason why I was crying was as soon as as Muriel walked in there and started spewing out everything and started crying, I was like, bro, please stop, dude. I'm starting to cry too, dude. <laughs> I was like, this dude is just saying, please don't die, man. This is the reason why I fought all the way through this. Oh my god. I was like, dude, stop. Oh, it, like for his death, like I actually I was not like I, I'm still not even really attached to Night Eye. But I Listen. felt really bad for Lemillion. Like Lemillion killed like he did he made the scene. Like uh it, he he definitely made a I I shed a tear for Lemillion. Hell yeah. Yeah, I don't give a shit about Night Eye dying. It's just the fact that Lemillion. <laughs> it's, not, it's not so bad. What? Dude, that's <clears throat> fucked up. That's yeah. just fucked up. What are you talking about? Yeah, but, okay, but Kui, Kui, you just have to think of it this way. It's, it's like when you see him him dying, I just keep thinking, thank God it wasn't All Might. <laughs> oh my God. He's next, all right? Uh, or even Lemillion, dude. I, I, oh God. If Lemillion, I mean, like if it was like reversed, I would have felt. I, I don't even know. I mean, it's basically as good as dead if I was his quirk. Ah, oh, David. Yes, but we have a cop. We have a cop out that I love so much. I guess it's, it's only a matter of time, man. man. Only a matter of time. No, that cop out's gone. It's gone. For now. I mean, uh. they can always they can always like <laughs> bring him back. Like, they can do something with Ari, but for now, like they basically just yeah, he's confirmed that like her power's out of control. She's like, she's like in a fever. She's training. Yeah. So. yeah. So I'm glad that like, they're not, not going to use it as a cop-out anytime soon. I'm just, I'm yeah. still worried that she's going to be a cop-out, like, later on, but... Well, I think, like, a big part of her, like, uh, where it just kind of, kind of like, sets it up now, it's like, um, Aizawa said it himself, he's the only one that can control her, in a sense, or yep. calm it down. So I'm guessing, like, a lot of the, the, the part now with Aizawa is going to be trying to hone her skills, because it's definitely a really OP skill. And then when you have um, recovery goal, recovery girl, you know, reaching her her golden age, um, there's gonna be there, there's going to be an, or there's gonna be a need for another healer, and you know, the most OP healer, man. Well, I think that they're just basically just gonna try to have her try to reverse the effects of the bullet, just mainly for like a million, but also because the other ones they have the bullets now, so yeah, you know, hope expect, you... expect them to use it soon. Okay, I have, I, have a, I have an issue with uh, now that we have like the bullets about how they acquired them. It's like you're gonna tell yep. me you get like this high, like this high, like a uh, villain, like a Chisaki, and you know, and the like the the people that you have, trans like transporting him are cops and a dude that throws sand. Are you kidding? We've never heard of this guy. What's wrong with a dude throwing sand? I mean, yeah, you know how strong he is. Yeah, wait, have we seen him before? No, but no. Okay, see, there's your problem. <laughs> He's a side character, bit, and now he's gone. Actually, You're right. Did he get captured or killed? I I actually don't know what happened. The whole he turned into the ball. Thing. I think they just yeah. left him. Well, they made it sound like it's like uh like he was going to die in the ball. Um, I don't know if I don't even know how they would recover him or they kind of just like after that scene happened, they just kind of skipped over it. They went back to Deku and you know, Night Eye and uh Lemillion scene. Or no, before that though, like um. Like Tomara basically like fucked over Shisaki. Oh yeah, removed his arms. I think. Yeah, which is weird because I because like because they were saying like I think like with all his hands he can't use his quirk, which I uh-huh. is really weird. You think I don't know that doesn't he make any be sense. able to just heal himself, but yeah. Um, I think the only reason why he can't is because he's uh I think what he whatever isn't it what he's strapped into like they can't use their quirk. I don't know. I think that that's the only thing I came up with. But first, like when they did that, and he's laughing my I'm thinking, bro, he can just 
<laughs> he can just recover his arm. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking like <laughs> he needs to just stay. Like he can re- like rebuild himself. I don't know. Like no, I'm gonna have to say that I think it was all in his hands. That's why he had to wear gloves to control himself. Yeah. Um. So now that his hands are cut off, I think he's pretty much useless. Hmm. I don't Which... know because it's even when he was like when he was merged with those other um other bullets he was still like like bringing his arms back even though they were already gone so i don't know how he kept bringing them back if that make if you guys remember that like when he was I don't know they were gone record. i don't remember them being gone well i mean he was like, he had extra like arms yeah but they weren't a part of him though he would have, he had to like bring them back or like you know rebuild them recover them or whichever you want to whatever you want to call it but they were extra arms though i don't think they were his own arms <clears throat> Yeah, if, if I remember correctly, he had he still had to touch part of his body. If I remember correctly, did he? I I want to huh. say yes. Brian, do you remember? Any of this or no? Um, pretty sure he had to touch something. God damn it, Brian! Why'd you why'd you talk? <laughs> okay, because <laughs> okay, so. we had to get to the ground to so get like the pillars up too. So uh, okay, I would say that I would go back and watch it, but I just want the sword to be done. <laughs> yeah, that's right. It's not bad. So that, that's that's another thing I was gonna say too. It's like because now we have both Stain and Chisaki, we now have like two villains who got sides like sidelined just to bring up the League of Villains. And oh yeah, dude, like, with, with, I'm with, disappointed with, because like any other like Shonen, like like these two villains will have their their own like huge arcs. Yeah, with but, with League of, with League of Villains, like and uh, Chisaki, like I miss Stain so much. They they definitely should have had his arc be a lot longer. I think. Um, especially like I still I still think he he was the best villain they've had. Um, Brian, I know you have very high thoughts on uh, Stain. Good. All right. He is so <laughs> good. They had to make another character that literally tries to copy him, dude. The lizard uh, guy, by the way. The lizard guy. The I don't know if he was guy. trying to copy him, but... Um, He's legit the biggest Stain fanboy in the world. Right. Wait, lizard guy? The guy that was driving the car? Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, he. I think like uh, that's I how good like, Stain was, dude. I feel like the League of Villains, like one, they're getting further away from Stain's ideal, and I feel like some of the. It, I don't know if they're hinting towards it or, if may, or maybe just overthinking it, but it feels like uh, some of the people in um, in the League of Villains are kind of going away from, uh, I guess, what Homura is doing, because like it well, seemed I mean, like they weren't a fan of them taking the bullets. Um, that, was, that was that was Spinner, basically, yeah. Yeah, uh, but I mean, like, he was so so. Yeah, but there's a, so that there's a, that influence in the League of Villains, so it's like I, I can easily like at this point it seems like Tomura is just going to kind of go further away from stand ideals, and I think it's it might uh it, it might you know cause rifts in the in the League of Villains even though the the group is already so small. Um, like, well, that's just, again, I think it's just dumb because like. <clears throat> Because they're already fighting against Shisaki and his his groups, and like, yeah, it just makes like the threat like less, like I don't know, less important or something. Yeah, um, because like it, it, because it, it, it's it looks like with them taking the bullets, it makes it more like they just want to maybe just destroy heroes in a sense instead of actually like how Stain went about it. Stain wanted to reform like yeah. the hero industry. Yeah, and didn't like, didn't League of like Village. Hero, Want to destroy, yeah. destroy it? Okay, but then all of the League of Villains want to though, because didn't some of them come from, like because of after Stain? Yeah, because they, they thought they had the same ideals. Basically, yep. okay. Just checking. Hmm. But that's just again, like it's just there's was, there's was potential in Jisaki's arc, just like just going, just all the things he could have done, and then it just ends like this. It's just so disappointing. Yep, so sad. like a little bitch. <laughs> yep, it's just like I mean they. They yeah they went they got Chisaki's they got into Chisaki so easy they got the the bullets so easy after it seemed like uh like Chisaki did so much work getting those bullets and Homura basically just had to fight a dude that threw sand. Well, to be easy. fair, it was like one v three, one v four. So yeah, it was... we got to see Dobby again. I forgot what happened yeah. to him. <laughs> I, I, forgot, yeah. I forgot about him, but it's kind of just just when he was like just saying how um. Like when the cop mentioned, or the hero he mentioned, like, um, like there's reports of like burnt corpses everywhere, and then Davi was saying, "Oh, people are talking about me," and then like the, the hero was saying, like, like don't you, what was it don't you think about the the people who left behind, whatever? So, I kind of like that think about that, like, 
he's he's a pretty like he's more of a serious villain than like Tomara is. He's actually even like killing people, oh, yeah. like giving their corpses behind. So yeah, like honestly, I wish there was like more of that in like League of Villains, like like someone who's actually like a threat. Yeah, like, well, like maybe Tomara just seems so lame for a villain. <laughs> well, I think he's still trying to like figure himself out, like what he wants to do and how to do it. And I guess now that he has the bullets, he's going to develop that now. It's just, it's just like it just seems like ever since like like they captured like one like one for all and they had that one for all result might fight because it seems like one for all should have been like the big like villain that everyone was afraid of, but now that they just captured him, it's like we're Is just it all for watching. one or one for all. I keep mixing this up. All for one. I forget. All for okay. one. Anyway, all, we know what you're, yeah. so all we know one. what you're talking about. Continue. But like, but like basically, like <laughs> okay. Like the villain should have been in like all for one, and now it's just like we just have to. Which this is just the result of just like just Tom around just having to like build up to like all for one. Yeah. Because because like he's just he's just lacking right now, and that's that's just what we're seeing. So that's why. Yeah, that's just why I just just the pacing and like the story right now just seems like just taking a backseat because we have we just have to wait for Tomra to keep building up, which is it's getting annoying now. Yeah, it'll be it'll be interesting to see like the new villain like they announce for this next season. I don't uh, think it's gonna be Tomara straight up. I think it's gonna be. I mean, they I, sound I like be, like the next the next arc is gonna be League of Villains again. Yeah, I think it's just a League of Villains. Really? Dude, That's dude, what yeah. the preview made it sound like. Like with what the heroes have been doing and like just like how much they've improved, like the League of Villains just seems so lame now. I can't see them really like uh, matching up I, to I them at all. The next arc, just what's more up? League... What did you say, David? Sorry. I just think like next arc is just gonna be more League of Villains it's with the previews. Uh, yeah, okay. fun. The only thing I'm more excited about is like now, like I think there's gonna be more people from the class. Like I think like um like Bakugo and Todoroki is gonna come back because they finished Dude. their their license. So I miss Bakugo so much. I miss that man. Because this 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 arc <laughs> was mainly focused on Kirishima. Yeah. So which is fine too. I was it's like Kirishima and, and like and then like and then the the big three. Or it was basically just like me like Miro and and Tamaki just. We didn't even see me like um the other girl that was in the top three. Yeah, I know she was just like knocked out, but I don't. We don't even know what she did. Like, oh no, well, no, she's just outside fighting with the, yeah. the other guy. I forgot. Yeah, she got. Know. Yeah, she got tired because I forgot that she uses like her own stamina or power or something, and then she gets like but, exhausted. Or it's something. Like, so it's like like this arc is basically it was like it was like Deku, like Miro, Tamaki, and like Kirishima. So the Sunnyder came in the clutch. So like I'm, that's why I guess next arc I'll be more excited to see like everyone else i think everyone else has a chance to come in like just todoroki and bakugo yeah i don't think we're gonna see too much of big three here especially with uh lumillion missing his power unless it's just trying to him you know in a way either find himself or just like kind of how he's think, going like, to again seems like a waste because they're they're introduced just for this arc and it seems like we're not gonna see them much anymore that's okay dude so, sun eater came in the clutch and saved uh saved aizawa for me so that was great with the swordfish finally um, i mean yeah, from the looks of it, I think everything that's been done so far in this arc is just to set up the main cast, right? The main, the main one uh, A class, and then the main League of Villains. Yeah, yeah. Because um, and honestly, I don't think there was anything. There wasn't really anything set up for these new villains, right? Like uh, with Chisaki and his group, and then with the big three, like they seem to have pretty big roles. But I feel like they had like the one one episode or two to kind of just showcase what they can do. And and that was it. Now this is going to toss them to the side, and then I guess um, Sun Eater might be might play a role now. Not that Kiri Shimila is like injured or say or or not, but then with Lamillion being injured and having no quirk, I think he's just be more supporting cast now. Well, uh, th- well with Nida though, I mean Nida, you can see like his last thing was actually looking in Lamillion's future, and he still says he he was going to be like a, like a great hero. Uh, I don't know if he meant like you know either like his quirk comes back or if it's just because he's a beast. <laughs> And he's gonna find a way. He's trying to find a way. But... Dude, he, he's gotta find a way. He's too good of a character. I mean, he was dying, and his student was crying, so he might have just said it to get him to uh, not be as sad. I can't see Night Eye being that type. He was kind the of man, a hard ass for most of the time. The man's dying, sir. Just just let him do what he wants, okay? <laughs> I, I suppose, yeah. Brian, any thoughts? Any like power? Power! Thoughts on... <laughs> that's all I got, dude. That man's oh, gonna come back stronger than ever. But, but, but uh, for thoughts for next season? No, oh, next season? Yeah, or not? Yeah, the, or the next arc. I you should say next arc. Oh, yeah, the next, next arc. arc. Uh yeah. It looks like they're just setting up for another League of Villains arc. Um, if anything, I think some people in the League of Villains are like, "Yo, 
y'all are tripping. And then they're going to, like, <laughs> fight back or, like, sabotage inside and shit. So that's my thoughts. Or attempt to leave, maybe. I was thinking of actually yeah, that, too. Yeah, like that lizard dude. Like, he yeah. was like, this is, I followed Stain's, like, way of thinking. And then he was like, I am not down for this shit, yo. Then, yeah. Yeah. I could easily see him being, like, the guy that kind of, I would say, like, attempts to, like, lead... But I don't even know who else fought. Like I don't know who else besides him came into the League of Villains, um, yeah. because of Stain. I don't know if any of you guys remember, but Spinner he seems like the type of character too. Like he's the easy throwaway. Like Spinner, yeah. where where I, I could easily see him just walking up to Tomra, just saying like I don't believe in your ways. Tries to leave, then Tomra just killing him. <laughs> because it's because I, I don't even know his quirk besides looking like a Ninja Turtle. <laughs> a lizard? What? Dude, whatever. Lizard, reptile, it's the same thing. But that's all no, good. just no. You just basically insulted a whole fandom of Ninja Turtles. Okay. Yeah. Uh, his I'm... quirk is Gecko. What the? So basically, it makes him a Ninja Gecko Turtle. Gecko grants him a reptilian appearance and ability to cling onto walls and other sheer surfaces. Ninja Turtle. But um, I don't know, I'm excited for like the bounce back. I I don't think. I don't think Hero Academia is going to have two bad arcs in a row. I'm excited for the opening song, <laughs> the new opening song and ending song. I've always, I always like uh, Hero Academia's songs. I'm sure they'll kill it. Hopefully. That's all I got. I just hope they do better character development for Deku now, now that he's kind of experienced his first uh, big case in a sense. And now that the, Guys, I wanna... uh, now that the, Kuro, the, the, the kids have like dealt with death or well, someone on their side, uh, hopefully it, um, Access as a catalyst for them to transcend to the next level. Especially with Deku. I was, I was really disappointed with Deku, this, this arc. Yeah. Goes up to 20% and still can't do anything. Right. <laughs> Feels bad, man. I just want to see my boy Todoroki come back. Yeah, I want to see Todoroki. I want to see Bakugo. I want to see the wind guy from the other school if he's even the thing yeah. anymore. I just want to see other characters. Like, yeah. just, I want everyone, basically. I want like more team attacks now. Cause just, you know. Yeah, like who said, I'm currently disappointed in Deku. Like it, we we saw him at the like constant 100. I don't think Ares is just going to be strapped to his back from here on out, going on missions. Nah. Uh, so I just want to see I just want to see development with other people, like with other other uh, the other cl- uh, classmates, their quirks, uh, more than the main guy, which sounds terrible. But yeah, that's true. I think yep, I think I'm good. All right, so we're in it there for now for here.